it's not only spring training for Major League Baseball players here. It's the same for the other guys on the field. The umpires, and just like the players, they have to get ready for the regular season. We had the rare opportunity to talk with one of them on camera in a story we call Interview with an Umpire. James Hoy has been a Major League umpire since 2010, and this year was promoted to crew chief. We began this interview talking about how different things are for an umpire in spring training. So the crew that I normally work with during the season mm -hmm. is not here. They're all over. Three of the guys are in Arizona. So the guys here are just guys that live here or come down for spring training. So I don't work with these guys at all during the season. So it's kind of nice, just a nice group that intermix the guys. And yeah. also you, you live close by here, which is the benefit. Is that the way it mostly is in spring training with the umpires? Yeah, so most of the guys, they either when they move down, they try to find a place in Florida or to Arizona so they can spend an extra month at home because that's, mm -hmm. that's why we did it. The month of March, now I get to stay home. Um, so that's, that's obviously a huge benefit being close to spring training sites. James, spring training is more relaxed for the players. Can it be more relaxed for umpires? Can you guys... Like take it down a notch, or oh, absolutely. always the same. No, it's for like just for like I'm showing up here just a little bit before an hour during the season. We're here an hour and a half. We get mentally ready. This is spring training for us too, so it's kind of like, hey, we got to get in the grind of working for the season, uh, seeing pitches, seeing plays, and so yeah, it's definitely a laid back for us also because we're getting ready for the season too. This year, because of baseball's many rules changes. Spring training for umpires is more important than ever. This year has been really difficult. Um, the speed of the game is much faster. The pace and in between the pitches, learning the rules, having questions every day. Every day we have questions from both the coaching staff and players. Hey, is that legal? Is that not legal? And we're like, I think so. Let me go check. So it's a combination <laughs> of making sure we know them, but then also coming back and following up with the guys and saying, hey, that isn't right. This is right. So, yeah, it's been... This has been a, a very a learning curve for everybody this spring. James Hoy has worked two World Series, including the Phillies and Astros last season. You obviously knew it was going to be loud. Did you think it was going to be that loud? No, no. And so we had left Houston, and the, they had the roof closed, and it was really loud. But Citizen Park, for no roof, was extremely loud. Yes, it was the Phillies fans came. They were ready. They were ready for their team. Yeah. Did you hear anything you maybe had never heard before? No, because at that point it all kind of blends in together. So because it's just loud. So, but they they were cheering their they were ready to cheer their team on. Definitely. It makes it tougher on the opposing players. Is it also tougher to umpire when it's that loud? Um, it's not something you're used to all the time because you don't have that kind of noise. But um, again, that's where you know spring training is kind of that easy going. Just let it. But the World Series is it's time to fo there's no messing around anymore. It's yeah. focus time, just like the players. So yeah, it was. It was pretty intense. It was cool. Great to be a part of it. James Hoy is also involved in Umps Care Charities. It was founded through the compassion of Major League Baseball umpires and provides financial in-kind and emotional support for America's youth and families in need. Next time you see James Hoy, don't boo him. Thank him. With the Phillies, I'm Scott Palmer.